Good afternoon, this is Bob Aicino talking Dow futures from the CME Group trading floor in Chicago. Overall, the equities were pretty weak in the S&P. A lot of bulls talking about it being a bit of a victory with the S&P and NASDAQ slightly lower. But let's talk about the strongest of the three, which was the Dow. I'm leaving the Russell out of this, which made new record highs again and talk specifically about the Dow because the industrial sector was the strongest sector today, which obviously is well represented in the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Part of what kept equities from completely collapsing was the trade progress that we got. There was some conciliatory talk or tone from China. They did deny that they agreed to a 200 billion reduction in the trade deficit, but they did confirm that they've decided to end the probe into U.S. dumping, dumping in the imports of sorghum. So that seemed to be a little bit of a bend on China and the idea that they're starting to kind of want to negotiate and want to agree again with a little bit more conciliatory of a stance, help the equities at least off the open get a little bit of a bullish tone, even though the Nasdaq and the S&P fell, the Dow stayed near unchanged for most of the day. We also had some Fed speak today that sort of didn't really move the market, but didn't hurt it either. Loretta Mester, the Cleveland Fed president, said that the Fed is near achieving their economic goals. Now, for some people, this meant that the Fed was going to push harder for this policy normalization that they've been talking about. Other people said that this was a good sign for equities and the Fed would kind of continue on the same pace. Didn't hurt the equities overall, certainly didn't help. Again, the Dow remained steady while the other two indices fell off. And then yields retreated a little bit on the treasuries. We had the 10-year note and the two-year note back off. 10-year note came down from 311 on the high yesterday, 310 near the settlement, to about 307%. Again, still solidly above 3%. Looks like we're gonna stay there for the time being. But also, the yield curve steepened a little bit from the beginning of May. We've now got a two's 30-year curve up around 65, 66, which is good. It had gone down as low as the, the, high, uh, the 60s and the high 50s when the curve was flattening and the steepening is good for the overall economy, decent for the equities, pretty good for the Dow overall. Again, industrials led from a sector perspective. This is Bob Aicino talking about the Dow futures from the CME Group trading floor in Chicago.